Step into the shadows of the Elder Chronicles. Join us on a quest to uncover the hidden truths and unexplained phenomena. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more enigmatic tales. Ever pondered about the unsolved mysteries of the world? Today we delve into one such enigma, the Oak Island Money Pit. Nestled off the coast of Nova Scotia, Canada, Oak Island harbors a mystery that has intrigued many for centuries. It all began in 1795 when a circular depression was discovered on the island's forest floor, sparking the belief of a buried treasure. This site, known as the Money Pit, has lured treasure hunters from around the globe, all drawn to the island by the tantalizing promise of hidden riches. Despite numerous attempts, and even the formation of companies solely dedicated to uncovering the island's secrets, the Money Pit remains an enigma. Its allure is unbroken, its mystery unsolved. So what makes this island so captivating? Let's journey back in time to the discovery of the Money Pit. The year was 1795 when a young lad named Daniel McGuinness stumbled upon a curious circular depression on Oak Island. The peculiar hollow nestled in the island's dense forest sparked intrigue in the teenager's mind. He thought, could this be a hiding place for a pirate's treasure? Daniel's imagination ran wild with images of gold doubloons and glittering jewels. He couldn't shake off the thought that under the Earth's crust, a fortune might be waiting. So he decided to dig deeper into the mystery, quite literally. He enlisted the help of two friends, and together they started the excavation. As they dug, they discovered layers of flagstone, wooden platforms, and pickaxe marks on the tunnel walls. This was no natural formation, it was man-made. Each discovery fueled their belief that they were on the cusp of uncovering a buried treasure. Their digging stopped at 30 feet, but their quest for the treasure did not end there. And with that, the legendary hunt for the Oak Island treasure had begun. Armed with pickaxes and shovels, Daniel and his friends began their quest for the buried treasure. Their hearts pounded with anticipation as they dug deeper into the earth spurred on by the tantalizing clues they uncovered. Layers of flagstone, wooden platforms and pickaxe marks on the tunnel walls whispered tales of hidden riches, fueling their excitement. However, the island was not ready to yield its secrets quite so easily. As they reached a depth of 30 feet, they encountered a formidable obstacle. The ground became increasingly difficult to penetrate and their progress slowed considerably. Despite their best efforts, the treasure continued to elude them. Undeterred, they persevered, but the island had other plans. With the ground proving too stubborn, they were forced to make the tough decision to halt the dig. Despite their efforts, the treasure remained elusive. But this was just the beginning. In 1803, the torch was passed to Simeon Linz and the Onslow Company, who took up the challenge to uncover the mystery. The Onslow Company, armed with ambition and the allure of potential treasure, embarked on their excavation journey. As they dug deeper into the pit, they encountered similar obstacles as their predecessors, but they persevered. Their efforts were rewarded when they discovered an inscribed stone at 90 feet. The stone bore cryptic symbols, a tantalizing hint of the buried treasure. The symbols, a riddle etched in stone, promised a fortune lying deeper within the pit. However, the excitement was short-lived. Just like the initial excavators, the Onslow Company reached an impasse. The elusive treasure seemed to be always just out of their grasp. Despite reaching a depth of 90 feet, the company was forced to suspend their efforts. The cryptic symbols on the stone hinted at a treasure below, but it remained out of reach. The year 1849 saw the arrival of the Truro Company, ready to solve the island's enigma. With renewed vigour and an arsenal of advanced drilling equipment, they took over the excavation operations. As the drill bit through the soil, it brought up tantalising fragments from the depths, each more intriguing than the last. They found layers of oak, spruce and clay, suggesting a complex and carefully engineered structure lay hidden beneath. More fascinating was the discovery of a mysterious stone slab etched with symbols hinting at possible pirate activities. The Truro Company's efforts also led to the uncovering of a peculiar gold chain and a parchment with the letters VI visible, further fueling the speculation of a hidden treasure. However, the elusive treasure remained out of reach. 
The company's operations were plagued by water ingress, making the excavation increasingly difficult. Despite their best efforts and the discovery of these intriguing artifacts, the treasure of Oak Island refused to reveal itself. Despite tantalizing clues, the treasure still lay hidden. Is it a pirate's booty or a decoy? The mystery deepened. Next to step up to the plate was the Oak Island Association, fueled by the allure of the elusive treasure. The association was ignited by the same burning curiosity and sense of adventure that had sparked previous endeavors. The association approached the mystery with renewed vigor, armed with the collective knowledge of past attempts. Their excavation efforts were ambitious, aiming to delve deeper into the island's secrets than ever before. They battled against the same obstacles that had thwarted their predecessors, the seemingly impenetrable layers of flagstone, the wooden platforms and the enigmatic pickaxe marks on the tunnel walls. Despite their determination, the association faced numerous setbacks. The island seemed to be guarding its secrets fiercely, resisting all attempts to unveil its mysteries. The more they dug, the more elusive the treasure became. Eventually, after much sweat and toil, the association was forced to abandon their quest. The island had once again proven its ability to guard its secrets. The treasure continued to remain a puzzle, luring more seekers to its depth. In 1893, the Oak Island Treasure Company took on the challenge, bringing new hope to the treasure hunt. With renewed vigor and determination, they launched into their quest, driven by the tantalizing prospect of uncovering the island's hidden wealth. The company embarked on extensive drilling operations, digging deeper into the island's terrain than ever before. Their efforts were not in vain. They made significant discoveries that added another layer to the island's mystery. Pieces of parchment paper, gold chains and intriguing artifacts were unearthed, sparking excitement and speculation among the treasure hunters. Each find was a tantalizing hint, a whisper of the treasure that might lie below. Despite their efforts and promising discoveries, the treasure they sought remained elusive. The Oak Island Treasure Company, like those before them, was unable to crack the island's enigma. Their story became another chapter in the ongoing saga of Oak Island, a testament to the allure and frustration of this enduring treasure hunt. The elusive treasure remained a mystery, but the island was not done revealing its secrets. The island had one more surprise in store, a complex network of flood tunnels. Just when the treasure hunters thought they had seen it all, Oak Island threw them a curveball. Hidden beneath its surface was an intricate labyrinth of flood tunnels. Ingeniously designed, these tunnels weren't just random subterranean passages. Rather, they were a formidable defensive mechanism, strategically channeling seawater into the money pit. Every time the hunters dug deeper, the tunnels would flood, thwarting their efforts and adding an extra layer of mystery to the enigma that is Oak Island. The elaborate design of these tunnels suggested they were not a mere product of nature, but a deliberate creation, possibly designed to protect something of immense value. Despite the additional challenge, the discovery of the flood tunnels only fueled the hunters' resolve. It was clear the island was not going to give up its secrets easily. But this didn't deter the treasure hunters. Quite the contrary, it only made them more determined. The island seemed to be guarding its treasure fiercely, but the hunters were not dissuaded. Even future US President Franklin Roosevelt couldn't resist the allure of Oak Island. Franklin Delano Roosevelt, known to many as FDR, was drawn to the enigma of Oak Island as a young boy. The tales of buried treasure and the unsolved mystery ignited a spark in him, a spark that would follow him into his adult life and even into his presidency. Roosevelt's ties with Oak Island began in 1909. He became an investor in the Old Gold Salvage and Wrecking Company, a partnership formed with the aim of finally unearthing the island's elusive treasure. The company conducted extensive excavations, but like those before them, they left with empty hands. However, the experience left an indelible mark on Roosevelt. Throughout his political career, Roosevelt continued to follow the Oak Island treasure hunt. His interest never waned, even when his attention was required for matters of national and global importance. He was last seen on the island in 1939, in the midst of his third term as president. 
The treasure hunt was not just about wealth, it was about solving a centuries-old mystery. Roosevelt's involvement in the Oak Island saga is a testament to the enduring allure of the island's enigma. The quest for the treasure was not simply a pursuit of wealth, but a desire to unravel a tantalizing mystery that has captivated minds for centuries. In 1965, the island claimed its first lives, turning the treasure hunt into a deadly pursuit. The Restall family, led by Robert Restall, moved to Oak Island to solve the mystery that had captivated many for centuries. They devoted their lives to the treasure hunt, with the belief that they were on the brink of a historic discovery. However, their pursuit of the treasure took a tragic turn. While working on a new shaft, poisonous gases seeped into the pit, causing Robert and his son Bobby to lose consciousness and fall into the water-filled shaft. Despite the valiant rescue attempts by two workers, they too succumbed to the lethal fumes, marking a total of four lives lost in the blink of an eye. This tragedy shook the treasure hunting community, bringing a stark reminder of the risks involved. Yet the Restall family's sacrifice did not mark the end of the treasure hunt. The island had exacted a heavy price, but the lure of the treasure remained. In 1992, the Nova Scotia government enacted the Treasure Trove Act, changing the game for the treasure hunters. This piece of legislation was a turning point, marking a new era in the hunt for the Oak Island treasure. The act stated that anyone who discovered historical artifacts or treasure on their land was required to report their findings to the authorities. This meant that any treasure found on Oak Island would no longer be the sole property of the discoverer, but rather could be claimed by the government if deemed of historical significance. This development was a double-edged sword. On one hand, it offered legal protection to those who found treasure, ensuring that their findings would be recognized and recorded. On the other hand, it also meant that the treasure, if found, could potentially be taken away leaving the discoverer with little to show for their efforts. As a result, the stakes were raised. The treasure became not just a quest for riches, but also a race against time and against the law. The act added another layer of complexity to the treasure hunt, making the elusive treasure even more coveted. In recent years, the treasure hunt has been popularized by the hit TV show, The Curse of Oak Island. This show has thrust the enduring mystery of the money pit back into the limelight, rekindling the flame of curiosity in a new generation of treasure hunters. The series follows the Legina brothers, Rick and Marty, who have dedicated their lives to solving this centuries-old enigma. Their relentless pursuit, armed with modern technology and boundless perseverance, has breathed new life into the hunt. The show's popularity has seen a surge in interest in Oak Island and its fabled treasure. Every new episode teases the possibility of a breakthrough, keeping viewers on the edge of their seats. From mysterious artifacts to intriguing theories, the series has unveiled some compelling discoveries, adding more layers to the island's rich tapestry of mystery. The Legina brothers' journey is a testament to the allure of Oak Island. Their determination and the mounting anticipation of what they might uncover next keep us riveted. As we continue to watch the hunt unfold on screen, the mystery of Oak Island's money pit endures. Could all this be explained by natural phenomena, or is there really a treasure buried deep within the island? It's a question that has puzzled researchers and treasure hunters alike. Some speculate that the money pit is simply a natural sinkhole. Sinkholes often have the same layering of soil and stone that has been reported at the Money Pit, leading some to believe that the pit is a natural occurrence rather than a man-made mystery. However, this theory doesn't explain everything. For instance, the presence of pickaxe marks on the tunnel walls and the neatly arranged wooden platforms suggest human intervention. Additionally, sinkholes typically form in areas with certain types of soil and rock, conditions that are not present on Oak Island. So the debate rages on. Is the money pit a marvel of nature, or is it the work of human hands, possibly hiding a vast treasure? We may never know for sure. What we do know is this. Whether a natural wonder or a man-made mystery, the island continues to captivate us. Could the legendary pirate Captain Kidd have buried his loot on Oak Island? This theory is one that has kept treasure hunters awake at night. 
plotting their next expedition. The story of Captain Kidd, a notorious pirate of the 17th century, has been intertwined with the mystery of Oak Island. It's speculated that he may have used the island as a secret depository for his ill-gotten wealth. But why Oak Island? Well, its remote location and intricate underground system make it an ideal spot for a pirate to hide his treasure. The island's complex network of tunnels and traps could have been intentionally designed to keep unwanted intruders away from the hidden bounty. However, despite the tantalizing idea of a pirate's treasure, no evidence directly linking Captain Kidd to Oak Island has been uncovered so far. Yet, the allure of this theory continues to captivate us. It's the thrill of the chase, the allure of unearthing a piece of history, and the prospect of striking it rich that keeps the legend alive. If it is a pirate's treasure, it's certainly well hidden. Could the Knights Templar or Freemasons be connected to the Oak Island mystery? An intriguing question that has sparked countless theories. Some believe that the Knights Templar, an ancient and secretive order of Christian warriors, could have buried their legendary treasure on Oak Island. Others suggest that the Freemasons, a secret society with roots in the medieval stonemason guilds, might have chosen the island as their vault. These theories often point to the intricate engineering of the money pit and its flood tunnels, arguing that such a feat would have required the knowledge and resources of a powerful and secretive organization. The Knights Templar, known for their military might and vast wealth, and the Freemasons, revered for their architectural skills, certainly fit the bill. However, it's essential to remember that these are just theories, often based on speculation and circumstantial evidence. There's no concrete proof linking these organizations to the island, and the treasure, if it exists, remains elusive. While these theories add to the allure of the mystery, the treasure remains undiscovered. The Oak Island Money Pit continues to baffle us, its secrets buried deep within. We've journeyed together through its intriguing history, from the initial discovery by Daniel McGuinness to the relentless pursuits by the Onslow and Truro companies. We've explored the tragic tale of the Restall family, delved into the theories of pirate treasures and the connections with the Knights Templar and Freemasonry. Whether it's a natural phenomenon or a carefully constructed trap, the money pit keeps its secrets well. Whether the treasure is real or a legend, the allure of Oak Island's money pit remains undiminished. The hunt continues, and so does the mystery. 